Hello and welcome guys to another video. Today we have round one of the Touring Car Championship on Project Cars 2. So we had to change from Formula Renault to Touring Cars. Um, so it's a new championship in the Touring Cars. It's a multi-class league as well. So there is the Renault, BMW, Astra and the Mercedes Touring Car. So let's get straight into the video. So let's jump straight into qualifying with our best qualifying lap. So we are in the Renault Touring Car. Um, it's a Molly class league, so there is the Renault, Mercedes, Astra and BMW. I'd say the Renault and BMW are the best two of the Touring Cars. The Renault is the best in the corners, the BMW is the best on the straights. So we got a good um, line through turn one there, now on to turn two. 100 meter braking board, getting a late apex, very easy to lose traction on this corner because of the elevation change, but using all that exit curb as well, sitting provisionally P1, trying to improve on our time, into turn 3 we come, both turn 2 and this turn 3, very easy to lose the grip with the elevation change, um, my stream lagged a bit there so I do apologise that it's kind of skipped that corner. But into the double left-hander here, just basically need a tap of the brakes for this first one here, using as much of the track as we can. And then here again, you just want to tap the brakes and try and not lose too much um, time on the exit either. Try and really maximise that e exit because there's quite a long straight afterwards. Similar thing with this double right-hander, braking at the 15 meter board. Now this is very difficult for track limits, you can use the green curb, but you have to be off it by the time it ends. If you touch the red part of the curb just after the green, um, then your lap time's invalidated. I was pleased with that lap though, a 136.246 that put us on pole position. Green lights and away we go, will we get a good enough start? Pro stick in the BMW flies at the start. The BMW is just a rocket at the start there into the first corner. Got a little bit of pressure from the other cars. There's a bit of a collision behind us. Um, I think there was a few cars bumping there. But we got through at least here a look at the midfield start. Um, I see three disconnected, which is why there's an invisible car sat on the pit straight. Into turn one there and a bit of a collision there between the car in the middle and I think that may have been Ryan and MRT Boris. MRT Boris just pushes off that other car there. Um, not sure exactly what happened. We can have a look at another view in a second. They come down into turn two, all pretty clean, into the next corner. So I have a look on board with MRT Boris. A little bit of a sandwich there. They went three wide uh, in turn one and then here not exactly sure what happens. If MRT Boris just pushes the other car wide, or if um, he was got a little bit of a slide. Here, a move by MRT Boris. I think that may have been Ryan. On the inside there, into P4. And then into the left-hander there, making a move on the Mercedes. Which, I'm not sure exactly who it was. With these being new cars, it's hard to keep track of who is who. Do apologise. Here we're getting a great run on Pro Stig on lap 3. This battle for the win lasted the entire race with Pro Stig. It was a fantastic battle there. We're going around the outside. Really clean battle um, and just really, really good. Here it was Rosenberg 007 there in the Mercedes. He gets a tap from Ryan. Nearly spun round. Um, I believe that was Ryan anyway. Um, Ryan just miss, missing the brake slightly. Here we get a move around the outside of Pro Stick. It was a really good battle because both of us were very clean, gave each other room, and it was a really epic battle for the win. Here we're on lap 5 and we're still battling for the win. That was Pro Stig getting a good run on us out of turn 1. On lap 7 now though, we tried to undercut Stig, but it didn't quite work because Stig pitted on the very next lap. 
But anyway, on lap 8, we were trying to get past Stig. Heavy on the brakes, trying to get past him there. He gets a much better run on us. We go to defend the inside. But the BMW, as I said before, is just a rocket on the straights. And he gets past us before turn 2. So we can't really defend because he's already got a bit of a gap. Here we get down the inside on lap 11 there. And uh, back into the lead. Do apologise for that slight jump with the stream. There was a few bits of lag. Here we're on the inside here. You might just get far enough ahead into the turn one. And he gets that move done. But then on lap 13 we do this try again. Get hard on the brakes and we get the move done there. Here we've got Pro Stig trying to get past us on the hairpin turn two. I go a little bit wide and thankfully don't get a slowdown. Pro Stig there on the inside and takes the lead. It was a really epic battle, uh, really clean, and as I said, lasted pretty much the entire race. Here, going down the inside again of Pro Stig, um, but yeah, it was just a battle for pretty much the entire race. Here, we've got TR Sneeze, a familiar face from ACR, going a bit wide on the gravel trap. Let's do another driver, unfortunately, down into P4, I think he was. Now, we've got a three way battle for the win with only two laps or three laps remaining. Here we've got MRT Boris joining the battle and getting past Prostig. So me and Prostig battled the entire race, but then that allowed Boris to catch up in the final two laps. There Boris gets on the inside of us, but coming into turn one, I try to go around the outside, similar to what we were doing with Prostig, but Boris doesn't quite give us any room and we go a little bit wide there, but we get in the draft. Only got two laps left. It's a three-way battle for the win now. And we're on the outside, Prosta gaining on the straight. We're going to go for the outside of MRT Boris on turn two. But I'm not sure if MRT Boris outbreaks himself or doesn't give us room. But here he pushes us wide and we get a track limit warning. So we have to slow down into third, which was a bit frustrating. But now we are on board with Prosta. He touches the curb with two laps remaining into the body. are really unlucky. Battling for the win entire race and just really unlucky there. Here we're on the last lap, one corner left, going for the inside. Have a little look down the inside. Boris cuts us off there and we have to slot in behind. It was a good race there. Um, we had the fastest lap of the race and it was a great battle with Stig and then Boris joining in at the end. Um, bit unlucky that we lost the win. Um, Boris just caught us at the final two laps, as I said, um, because the battle between Prostig and I was a fantastic battle, but it did cost us a lot of time and allowed Boris to catch. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and see you again next time.